Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, really good at, like, I forget the name of the or something. So if you, if you bake it, you I flip like that. It would kept up back up. It's I'm like a literal video game. game. I don't think we can do that. <laughs> We're doing that. Oops. How long is this? A wall run all the way across. Uh, yeah, bye -bye. We're gonna do some hollow but just be ready. Just wall run. Whoa! You wall run. And you go, Did you try that? I'm pretty sure it's like, break it. Yeah. You're perfectly literal. You're like. Why? Just wait. I'll snap when that's when you go. Morning, effort up. I'm Jonah. I got beat up. <laughs> Today's Thursday, February 1st. Please rise for a moment of silence and I'll pledge the flag. Did I say silence? I got beat. Yeah, I think it's silence. See? We're gonna hear ourselves fighting in the other room while we're trying to read. <laughs> For an adventure, willing to try something you never have before, go on a blind date with a book this February. The entire month there will be books covered, some with topics, genres, and minimal information on the outside available for checkout. For every blind date you check out, you will be entered to win a free drink at the media center. Fall in love with a good book. Now over to the newsboy. What's up, Ephrata? It's your favorite newsboy, Eddie C., back on the mic, on the cam, get ready. In a landmark decision, the UK's Court of Appeals has deemed a new piece of proposed legislation in violation of the privacy rights of its citizens. The DRIPA, or the Data Retention and Investigatory Powers Act, would allow telecommunications companies to collect and store the phone and internet records of all UK citizens, a power that many critics fear could be exploited without proper oversight. Appeals courts agreed with the majority of the critics, claiming that the legislation was inconsistent with EU law, providing for its revocation. This provides a legal precedent in both the UK and Europe to guarantee privacy rights to its citizens. On this day in 1884, the first portion of the Oxford English Dictionary debuted, which may not sound too terribly exciting, but it is pretty interesting. It is considered the most comprehensive and accurate dictionary for the English language, and when its final volume was published 40 years later, it listed 400,000 different words and phrases in across 10 volumes. The Oxford Dictionary was different from others because it not only would give modern-day meanings of the word, but it would also give a history of how the world has been used over time. That's pretty neat. Now over to Seth with the lunch. Well, hey, hey, hey! Oh, hey, it's time for lunch. Today for lunch we have a hot dog and a roll. Southern turkey barbecue with the whole grain roll. I'm sorry, I have a cold. I probably shouldn't get close to you. Four meat or four <laughs> cheese pizza. Turkey club and cheat or turkey club and toast. Crispy chicken salad. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. Sauerkraut, baked beans, coleslaw, tossed salad, fresh broccoli or cucumbers and dip. Applesauce, fresh fruit or a slushy. All right, now over the mason with the sports. Said that one day. He's like a Google or something like that. Yeah. Not exactly. No, but like it looked like it had a G or something like that. Because it was in that book we were reading. Yeah. I don't know why he had this leather accent. Hey. There are no sports resorts for today. Today, bowling is away at E Town. Swimming takes on CB at the ref. Wrestling is away at Hempfield. And rifle hosts garden spot. Now back to the main bat. Minithon registrations are now available. Minithon, a fun event for all students, will be held on March 3rd in the middle school gymnasiums. Games, food, DJ, raffle items, check, check the Schoology message that was sent out Friday to all students. Questions? Message Mr. Martin or Mrs. Sosie. 
There are only a few days available to go until tickets for the Sadie's Valentine's dance go on sale. Woohoo! Ask your Valentine to the dance now. No worry if you don't have a Valentine. A group of friends can go at the dance tonight. I mean, at the night of the dance. Don't like to dance? There will be other activities for everyone in the hallways around the gym. Ticket sales will be in the cafeteria February 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th during all lunches. All profits go to our Minithon Club and benefits for Diamonds, the or organization which funds research for childhood cancer. In case you're nervous about asking somebody, here are some help here's a helpful guide to getting a date to the Sadie's Dance. Step one, know who you're going to ask. You wouldn't want to be one want to ask somebody who already has a date. That would be kind of awkward. Step two. Step two. Figure out if they'll say yes or no. Hate to break it to you, but some people are just out of your league. That's for you, Clay. <laughs> <laughs> but you may be surprised. No, stay, stay, stay. <laughs> step, step three. Use a catchy pun to ask them. Nothing lame like, I know this is cheesy, but Sadie's with, like, written on pizza, like, that's just unoriginal. Do something that relates to the person's interests. For example, if somebody were to ask Ethan to the dance, I, they would ask, Ethan, I've been pondering this for a long time, for a while. Sadie's? Because, you know, he's a very punny person and likes puns a lot, so it's pretty original. Step four, experience the joy of commitment or the pain of rejection. Have a great day, Alfred. Well said, buddy. Lovely Duffy did it. There's that. Duffy Duffy. What the? Why are you still on us? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wanted to. And you did it. <laughs> All right. I am Bruce Willis. I am Vince Vaughn. I am Batman. 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 I am Batman